Hello everyone and welcome back to Mutazione. My name is of course Constantine and we are still back here at Jale's, uh, cave, in Jale's cave, I guess. Uh, we, in the previous episode, we tried to... We tried to grow a, an evanescence, I guess, but um, that didn't really work. I went all the way outside in the previous episode looking for some more mushrooms or spores or something that might help me. Um, but apparently there's nothing there. So, uh, let's see here. Does this guy have any here? No. Uh, what he said is that we need to go to the mall and we can grab some evanescence from there. Uh, so the way we gotta go there, I believe, is through here, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Huh. Okay. Oh, look at this. So this is where you get that spores, I get it. Looks like this was a shoe store. Oh my god, look at that centipede, holy crap. Yeah, I don't want to go hang out with these venomous centipedes right now. <laughs> okay, let's grab the uh, lantern hat spores, okay. Lumin stone spore. Oh, these are the ev evanescence, look at that, evanescence spore. Alright, well, we got what we needed, let's get the heck out of here then. Holy crap. Sure, sure, sure. Just a haunted feeling mall. Damn it. This is creepy. All right, we got what we needed. Uh, let's uh, let's get let's get to growing here. Doo -doo -doo. I have a feeling that we may need to move some stuff around in order to grow the evanescence. So um, yeah, tend to plans. Actually, before we do that, let's see where the evanescence wants to be placed. Um. Oh, there's the evanescence, so it wants to go in here. Okay, never mind, let's make some space then. Let's salvage you. Growing old already? Seriously? That fast? Okay, let's grab you as well. Let's grab you as well. And we should be all good. Let's plant the evanescence now. Whoa, they're huge actually. Holy crap, we need much more space. 10 uh, plants, let's seed, let's evanescence. Get rid of you as well. So we got one. Let's get rid Two. of this one as well. Three. And four. And this one that's two. definitely about it. Crap, let's see. Can we? No, Alright, never we can mind. Place it there. Hmm. Looming stone. Ah, I wish we could put some looming stone in here as well. Uh, 10 plants. Let's see. Let's. Salvage some of these. Alright, let's grow some stuff. Ooh, I think one of the plants just died on us. Uh, hold up, hold up. Before we do that, let's tend to the plants. This one. Growing gold. Salvage. Yep, there we go. And now we can also harvest these and get what we needed. Look at that. Damn, that was quite a lot of work. Uh, I want to harvest this one as well. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alright, we're done with this. Let's get the heck out of here. Uh, let's have a chat with Jolly, or maybe we need to go back home. Have a chat with Grandfather directly. Oh no, never mind, Jolly. Thank you for your endeavor. Uh, thanks for the mushroom growing room. It is peculiar. As well as the nutrient en enrichment, I feel a form of resonance absent previously. I feel a form of resonance absent pre previously. Uh, what like? I have not felt it for many years. Akin for the moment before the sun aligned with the, with the moon. Is that good? My relationship to the flora of Mutazione is deeper than the others. Symbiosis is the foundation of the biome. Uh, like when things grow together. Papu and the Funk are at the heart of everything. When things get out of ba balance... Uh, are things out of balance right now? Uncertain, Papu is beginning to flourish again. But the other end of the equation, the Funk must also be considered. What is the Funk? 
What is the fung jelly? An incredibly powerful fungus. It offers great powers of restoration. Life born from decay. Decay. But also decay born from life. So it is. Hmm. Um, well, thanks for letting me restore your garden. Gratitude. Alrighty then. We've done it. Look at that. Um, is this guy back here now? Chilling in his garden? Let's see. Yes, he is. Look at that. <laughs> he loves it. I cannot converse with you currently. I'm absorbing nutrients. Mm, you are highly successful in replenishing the soil. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. Look at that. He looks, he looks perfect now in there. With all his uh, mushrooms and thingies. It's like he's a plant as well now. Uh, Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's carry on up here the stairs. Doo -doo -doo. I think we gotta go back to our grandpa, eh? Time to travel. Time to tell grandpa I got the Evanescence. I think Tongue and Grub are supposed to work together this afternoon. Fingers crossed, no fighting. <laughs> let's see uh, what these guys do, actually, yeah. Before we go to grandpa. Oh, yeah, look at these. They're right here. Stop lollygagging. I knew I'd get no useful work out of you today. Uh, uh, what? I just wanted to spit it out. I'm going to fish. I mean, I'm going to start up a fishing business. Trade what we don't need with the mainland. I'm supposed to jump for joy? Uh, after it is up and running, I won't be able to work for you anymore. Let me get this straight. Not only did you steal my girl and my baby, you're setting up you're setting out to steal my business too? No, no. Why should I trust you? But I promise it won't be able to make it to the mainland. Well, I can't say I was looking forward to having you around the place anyhow. You're right. Uh-huh. Not about the boat. Um about trusting me. I get it. But I want us to get along. And to do that, I have to move on. Become my own man. Oh ho, playing the reasonable card, are you? I can barely look at you. You can wish it better all you like. But you took a path and you need to deal with the consequences. I'm going to do my best for Aelin, for both Aelin and the Bairn. But I don't owe you anything. I'll leave you alone. Alright then, um... Apparently these guys are not really going along. And now, see crumb. Okay, never mind. Let's get the heck out of here then. I just wanted to see uh, how they're getting along, but apparently they're not really. Anyway, uh, let's have a chat with these guys. Come on. How Thung's doing with Grub? I'm trying to stay close so I can step in. They're not fighting or anything. I'm going to go to try and invent a new knock. Sounds lovely. Uh, just don't... S sorry. Oh no, not you, boo. All I can think of is tonight. <laughs> Be reassuring. It'll be fine, don't worry. You both know like each other. That's the worst part, not knowing. I just... I've been daydreaming about it for so long. I'm just worried I'll never live up to it. Will the basket help? <laughs> or a net? I would love a basket, thank you. Alrighty then, uh, let's make uh, let's make our way to our grandpa then. Why not? Maybe we're gonna start our journey to uh, to the other world, to the spiritual world, I guess. That's what he's call he's calling it. Oh, he's right here. Never mind. Tell grandpa you found the antigen. Hey, I got that um, mushroom thingy we needed. Wonderful. 
You hold on to it for just a little while longer. I have one last task for you. You need a totem. Oh good, another thing? <laughs> I, I promise, it's the last one. Your totem will be what grounds you during the journey. It connects you to the physical world like an anchor. Cool, so I can just go and like pick a nice tone or something? Take this. Huh. Lizard skull. Is this my totem? It is beyond even my long earned expertise to select the totem. You must find the dot shaman. Give her this gift. Although, perhaps spare her your joke. They may not translate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snip at you. I had some words with Yoki earlier that put me in a bad mood. I'm glad of your spirit and your jokes. Alrighty then, Grandpa. Um, let's go up to the gra to the shaman then, to the dot shaman. Maybe he's gonna make a, uh, a thing for us? Oh, hold up. Let's have a chat with this guy. You cannot disturb me this time. Everything has settled down in the treetop. Papu is recovering. I am too content. No, content is imprecise. I feel exhilarated. <laughs> I'm happy to help, buddy. Hopefully the dots are gonna let me go up, eh? Yep, they will. Never mind. Hey, guys. What are you up to here? Let's see, what's the shaman gonna give us? Uh, you're the shaman, right? Why is he yelling at us like that? What the crap? Angry with her? That's right. Uh, we gave him the lizard... Lizard's call? That didn't really calm him down, although he said totem. So I'm guessing he's gonna make us a totem? Do what she says, I don't know, I feel kind of stupid. Let's do what she says, I guess, right? What's he doing? <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> wow. <laughs> What the heck? I think he's looking for a skull. That sounds like our skull. Yeah. Oh, what was that? What the? Oh, we got our totem. Look at that. Oh, thanks. Careful. <laughs> Careful. I love it how he's saying these words. Alrighty then, uh, can we chat with this guy? It doesn't like we can chat with him anymore with that with that dot there. I didn't even want to chat with you, buddy. Anyway, let's carry on. I guess we gotta maybe go in here. Is this where Grandpa is? No, he's not in here actually. Um, well, I guess we're done. Uh, hold up, let's see. Wonder how the lovebirds are getting on. I wonder if Yoki has any last hints about the ritual. Ooh, actually, yeah, yeah. actually, I want to have a chat with um, with Yoki about the ritual. He was kind of warning us here, trying to tell us to be careful. Hey, Kai, don't mind me. Just getting a bit of fresh air. Okay, I'm not gonna mind you then. Uh, let's go in the archive here and have a chat with Yoki. Whoa, look at that freaking fox here. I haven't seen that creature before. What? Whoa, that would look awesome. It was like a freaking fox or something like that. Kai, I'm surprised to see you. I had thought you set your sights on this ritual business. Uh, check is okay. Explain why you're, you're here. I just thought I'd drop by. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, I don't know how much you've actually listened. Uh, did I do something wrong? I just don't understand what the rush is. Why can't he take his time, introduce you to some of the safer practices? I don't want to, I don't want to say you don't think I should try the ritual. Oh yeah, let's go with this one. You don't think I should try the ritual thingy? With enough time and training, perhaps. 
But he's insisting on carrying on like there's no tomorrow. Talk about Grandpa's experience. Isn't Grandpa kind of an expert in this stuff though? No expert ever finds their expertise without mistakes. What the crap is wrong with Yoki? Look at him acting like all crazy. It's not even his tradition to share. Forgive me. Stay quiet. Just promise you will take care. Be positive. Be matter of fact. Be positive, I guess, eh? Of course, I'll make sure t he explains everything really clearly. My son tried with him for more than a year and still wasn't safe. Perhaps I'm letting the past catch up with me. You are not RD. Not that it's on your list of concerns for today, but I finished translating Manny's notes. Something about mushroom tree symbiosis and the centipede pacifying qualities of papa petals. Quite why you'd want to pacify a centipede, I don't know. I'm sorry for losing my temper, dear girl. Please, just take care. Hmm. Uh, offer a solution? Yeah, let's offer a solution here. Do you want me to come visit you after the ritual? No, no, perhaps I should just learn to sit with my worry. Or perhaps... Perhaps I'll ask Mew to just see how you're doing on her way back from hunting. Yes, yes, that sounds ideal. Okay. Oh, I'm a worry worth. I hope you can forgive me. Alrighty then, um... I'm feeling a little bit worried here myself. Now that freaking Yoki is acting like this, um, apparently this thing we are about to do is not that safe, maybe? We might be in trouble by doing this. Um, I don't know what to say. Hopefully we're gonna be all good. Anyway, let's make it all the way to, um, to the lighthouse because there's a date going on. I wanna check it out. Let's see here. Do -do -do. Claire and Spike are, uh, are having the date right over here on this side, I guess, right? Oh yeah, look at them. They're right here. And then I realized I don't even know where your favorite flowers are. That's okay. I don't know why it would have come up. For further reference, I like orchids and rose reeds. Next time, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, how's your day? If I'm honest, I spend most of mine worrying about tonight. <laughs> me too. Poor old Mew had to listen to me go on and on. Bupek must be very bored with me worrying about my, my, my hair. <laughs> your hair looks beautiful. Thank you. Uh, keep listening, I guess? So Bupek moved me this beautiful basket and said that one color was me and the other was you. And that it meant we would have a nice time. A good kid, that one. He is. I worry about him sometimes. Our little fondling. I feel like we did a good job of raising him in his early years. I know what you're getting at. Now, he's a bit in between. And he's got his peculiarities. Can get on folks' nerves. With Nono getting better and better, though. Feeling like maybe we turn the corner? I hope so. Um, I guess we gotta leave here. I mean... <laughs> I mean, let's just leave this guy have their fun, right? We don't have to we don't have to just listen to all the discussions. I just wanna see a little bit how they're doing. Oh look at her. She's smiling. Look at the smile on her face. Sorry, I didn't see you. I'm in another world. A beautiful world. I want to stay here and just grin and breathe the night and air. How can I begin to deserve this much joy? <laughs> I love it that she's happy. Uh, is Spike in here? Oh, everybody's in here apparently. Never mind. Come on, come on. Darn. 
He's <laughs> losing again. Stop looking at me like that, boo. No impulsion. No impulsion. I'm trying to be better at controlling my temper. Good for baby. Yes. <laughs> he won a match apparently. So you had a good time. Can't have been that good. If you're back swabbing, if you're back swabbing floors and shining glasses already. Typical, typical. No need to rush things. Hush now. Don't you go thinking I'm going to gossip everything out to you. We had a fine time. More and fine. Luminescent. Whoa. But the details of what happened is between us, understood? Of course, of course. Not planning on offering Claire a special manicure first, first thing in the morning, are we? Grub. I still know you. Still know you. Honestly, honestly. Well now, see Grump. We're just on tender hooks about Spike's date. No privacy. No privacy. If I had a wife, you bet I would keep her well out of the way of everybody. <laughs> Dennis with a wife? Didn't I hear you had some ritual plan with No No? Uh, yeah, I'm just on my way now. Uh, yeah, let's go with this, I guess, actually. Send our love to Nono. You take care. Alrighty then, uh, you know what? Let's go... It's time to the hut. Alright, yeah, let's go back over to the hut then, to Grandpa's hut. And I guess go into the spiritual world, right? I'm really curious what's gonna happen here. Oh, hold up. I'll be fine, old friend. We'll take care of her. I just... Of course you worry. But I'm confident no harm will come to her. Dang it. I'm getting worried now. I'm getting even more and more worried. Apparently... Ugh, crap. Something bad might happen. Anyway, let's see Mew here. Is it true? Are you really messing around in shaman things? Uh, I guess. You know we lost RD to that stuff, right? Of course you do. He was known as apprentice for months. You've been here less than a week and you're going on some spirit journey with him? Uh, reassure her again. Honestly, Mew, I'll be fine. Maybe I'm just a bit wounded. Look, uh, joke around, be serious. It means a lot to me that you care, but honestly, I think it's all just been a way for him to get to know me. You know how some people need, like, a task. So they can talk to you. Anyway, the spirit stuff is pretty interesting. Um, maybe I'll get to fly like a bird? <laughs> or zoom on, or zoom to the bottom of the ocean, or become a tiny bug on a tree? Maybe you'll be driven from mine and burn your house down. <laughs> Just please, be careful. Oh my god, these guys are all giving me the nerves, what the crap? What's what's the deal with this freaking uh, spiritual thingy? Hopefully we're gonna be just fine. Oh, so we don't have to start here, we gotta go all the way up top at the hut. Let's just do that then, I guess. Uh, let's see here, oh, he's waiting for us, look at that. Well, I guess we gotta start, let's go. Oh, hi. Well now, here we are. Are you feeling okay? Uh, style it out. Talk about your worries. Let's talk about worries, I guess. I don't know. I guess I was wondering if this was dangerous at all. Thank you for being honest with me. In fact, it's paramount that you let me know if you're not feeling comfortable. Each step we make should be entirely with your consent. A spirit journey, when guided by a practiced shaman, should feel safe and easy. We will just go a short way with the help of my guide. Uh, will I see my dad? What will it look like? Let's go with this. Yeah, yeah, why not? The spirit world is now one place. While we sometimes can communicate with the memories of those we have lost, they do not dwell there. First, we will meet my guide. And then we will move through our conscious, though, towards a wide open plane. At last, that is how it appears to me.
Many always said to her it was a lagoon. Then we can try a few gentle exercises before returning home. Um, alright, I'm ready. Wonderful. The first thing to do is to hang your totem. It will be your link to nature and also nature's link to you. A path and an anchor. Hang the totem. Alright. Isn't the totem gonna freaking burn if you put it there? <laughs> and the androgen? Alright, here's the androgen. We chew it. I will have a thumbnail sized amount, but you just need a little fingernail. Hope it won't taste like thumbnails. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly tasty. For that reason, you must be very careful to consume just a small amount. Um, clarify. How long should I chew it? Chew for as long as you want. It's just like a little piece of spiritual chewing gum. But safe to swallow. I'm a bit... If you stop now, you wouldn't just feel sleepy and have pleasant, vivid dreams. We can proceed, but it's up to you. The impatient thing is not to be is not to sit quietly in fear or anxiety, as in the spirit world, such things can take form. Uh, I think I'm okay, that just makes it sound scarier. Uh, let's go with I think I'm okay. A few butterflies in the stomach are to be enjoyed. I just mean, tell me if you feel scared, and we can understand the fear, together. <laughs> I love this. I'm really curious what's gonna happen here though. The final thing is to find our rhythm. I'm going to chant and you should strike that drum. This is not about keeping time. Nature has rhythms, but they flex and flow. This kind of drumming should not be regular, but respond to the world around us. Close your eyes. Listen. Listen to the plants grow, the wind through the leaves, the bugs crawling, the earth, the air. Play with them. Alrighty then, I'm ready. Let's do this. Holy crap, what the heck? The bird is back watching us, apparently. Grandpa? Where are we? Is this our conscious mind? Am I supposed to do something to sing through? What is this place? What's wrong with Grandpa though? I know her. Is that you? Grandpa, is this right? Grandpa. That's Mew. Oh no. Is that their kids? I don't want to see this. We have to leave. I don't like it. Wow, look at Mew and her family. Holy crap, what's happening? Uh, the thing is, Grandpa is not responding to us, so he's really creepy. Whoa, what the heck? Hopefully this is not signifying that our house back home is burning. Oh crap, what's up with grandpa? Holy crap, I, I, I hope he's not dead though. He is. Aw, oh, damn, seriously, what the heck? Dawn. Okay. Okay, let go. It's okay. Huh, he's dead though. Let me take care of him. 
You're shaking. Uh, I, I couldn't stop it. I, I... Shh. He's breathing, he's not. Look, he's still alive. What happened? I don't know, something went wrong. Okay, okay, uh, look, I'll get him into bed. He didn't follow anything, it's just his head. You need to talk to someone who knows this stuff. Yoki, go find Yoki. He'll know what to do. I'll take care of Nono. I can lift him easily. Go straight to Yoki. Crap, um, alright, let's go straight to Yoki then. This is no good. Well, at least we came back safely. I guess Nono was too old for uh, for this to work with him. Let's see here. Something definitely go. Something definitely went wrong, though. I'm not sure what uh, happened. Oh, is Yoki sleeping? Oh, uh, you have caught me napping, I... What has happened? Uh, start from the beginning, tell him the facts. Yeah, start from the beginning, I guess. We we were in the spirit world, like it started fine. But I thought we would be able to walk around. We couldn't move. There were a bunch of people in lab coats, and it, it was horrible. All the awful things Rampa had ever seen, they were everywhere. He just broke. Broke? What does this mean? What's with him now? Uh, he's not dead. Mew said I should come and find you. He's not dead? Then what? I don't know. Uh, tell me how to fix it. I made everything worse. Let's go with this, I guess. I don't know. Tell me how to fix it. I don't know where to begin. I'm sorry. I always help with the practical side of the research. I have always been uh, too afraid of the spiritual. Call your mother. My... Call Gaia. If he is preparing to leave us, she must know. It's too early to call right now. I have to help him. Uh, I have to help him. Time is too short for anything else. Leave it at an hour or so, perhaps, so you can p compose yourself. In the meantime... Yes. Let Mori know. She just left me to head to the temple. If you tell Mori, you won't have to tell anyone else. People will just know to look after you. And she can make sure Mew has everything she needs to keep Nono nourished. Go to Mori by the temple. Such news. Alright, um, let's go to the temple I guess, right? Since we're here, let's find Mori. Although, uh, the music here changed a little bit, and everything is weirder than usual. There's Mori. <laughs> She's doing some Tai Chi. Uh, before that, let, let's go inside here. Oh yeah, look at this. We need one more garden, actually. One less garden should do the trick. Should I pray? I don't really know how. A flower for the fung. Uh, anyway, let's have a chat with uh, Mori. Oh, hello, love. I finally got a time to do a little... Mori? What's wrong? It's Grandpa. Something terrible happened. Grandpa. It's like he got stuck. And now he won't wake up. Oh, love. Oh, no. Who's with him now? Mew. Well, don't you fret. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I'll make sure she has what she needs to take care of him. And that no one bothers you today. Uh, blame yourselves. What should I do? All you can do now is look after yourself. We'll do the rest. Once, when I was grieving, no, no, taught me a song. Said it helped me after Dora fled. Oh, okay. We're learning the last song here, the spooky song, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. This place. It's full of ghosts. Tell Mori about the ritual vision. I think I saw RD. When it all went down. It was like a vision. Made up of everything Grandpa ever felt bad about. I saw RD. He was so scary. Their house was on fire. Mori, it was horrible. It was horrible. We never really recovered. No, no, certainly didn't. I'm so sorry we brought our troubles onto you. Uh, reassure her. That's not what I meant. I just... It's definitely not your fault. It's not his fault either. That song, Seven Songs. Sorry, love. Seven Songs. Sorry, nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Take care of yourself, love. Huh. Chapter 7. Bloom. Alright, apparently... So, the, th the good part is that now we have the last song in order to grow the last farm here. Yeah, look at this. Um, I guess we gotta do it, right? Let's just do it. Uh, no, let's see. Plant seeds. Let's look for these spooky plants. So, we got a spooky one here. This is not a spooky one. Let's see. Do -do -do. This is a spooky one. So, let's put some of these plants... Onto the ground right here. I love the sounds in the uh, in the jungle here. I I guess I can call it jungle, right? It looks more like a jungle than a woods than the woods. Um. Yep, this should work just fine. Oh, hold up, hold up. This might be just the perfect place for it, if I can get it. There we go. Awesome, we got it. And um, that should be about it, right? Let's uh, sing some songs. Wow, everything is growing. Look at this. We almost got only spooky plants in this one. Composed spooky. Let's just completely sink here so that we can grow them all. Holy crap, this one is too big. We're not seeing everything behind it. It's impossible to see anything behind this freaking thing. What the crap? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, this should be it. Uh, we should be all good for now. Uh, I should wait until I finish the garden. Then, hopefully mom will be in her office and I can call. Huh. Well, I did finish the garden, right? Anyway, you know what guys, I think we're gonna have to end it up right here for now. And when we come back in the next one, we will carry on from this location, see what the heck has just happened with Grandpa. The game has just gotten a little bit weirder all of a sudden. <laughs> Alright, well, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this, and of course, if you did, do not forget to leave a like down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing, as I'm posting videos every single day, just like this one. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! It was my song. Sure, your song caught it. Now, we just gotta tie it out. Too big to haul out here when it's trashing around like this. Whoa, look at this. Holy crap. The flowers are blooming. This looks awesome. Look at all the freaking planting here. What the heck?